Hey, uh, hey, brother, how you doing? I'm good, man. How you doing? Uh, not bad. You, uh, just popped down from your, uh, room to hang out in the lobby for a little bit. You look like you're, uh, mid-treatment. No, they literally, Dr. Ian just literally discharged me. I'm just waiting on a ride to come pick me up. <laughs> oh, nice. You, uh, didn't see which way Doc Ian went. Uh, he had to go, he took an ambulance and had to go help somebody. He'll be back shortly. Damn it, damn it. Yeah, he got called by PD, I think. He'll be back, okay. I mean, he's coming back for sure, so. Oh, yeah, I mean, the guy basically just lives here. here. I, I just seem to keep missing him. Nah, he should be back in like five minutes or so if you just want to hang out. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been here for... Uh, nine days, so, yeah. Jesus, are you, uh, you wouldn't be getting one of those, uh, make you tall again surgeries like Motown got. No, no, I had my, my head kicked in, apparently. Oh, wow. My, uh, my, I made me the million dollar man, you know. Interesting. Do you, uh, remember anything about the accident? Um, uh, no, I don't. Jeez, so just, what's the last thing you remember before you woke up in the hospital as the six million dollar man? Uh, going home. That's about it. Interesting. You yeah. weren't, uh, perhaps on your way to a, uh, a, some kind of romantic rendezvous? I wish. Yeah, just you, uh, you know. You seem to be wearing uh, Valentine's Day themed uh, underpants at the moment. Well, I mean, you know, they're comfortable. You know, like, they're silky you know, smooth. A clue is a clue, though, right? If we're trying to we're trying to retrace your steps and find out exactly what happened to you. Well, I mean, these boxers are silky smooth. I got several pairs of them. All right, so this <laughs> is uh, this is like something that you do every day. <laughs> He's laughing his ass off. Yeah. Then uh, do you know if you came in with these uh, with these flip flop sandals or did they give those to you here? Uh, I mean, they probably gave them to me here because I mean, would you want to walk barefoot on this floor? I love your answer. <laughs> Definitely not, you know. But uh, you know, but they mean, don't look exactly just, like they match your robe. Bro, I mean, just take a black light to this floor. I really didn't. I don't know what to expect. I mean, people come in here bleeding all kinds of bodily fluids all the time. You know, or it's I like mean, Mardi a black Gras. light, black light to the ceiling. Yeah, that might that might be a little bit more telling. I mean, you really want an entertainment, you know? Just go over here to the motel and take a black light to one of the rooms. Mm. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> now I noticed that uh, you have uh, quite a few tattoos there as well. You know, if we want to continue to break this down. Uh, military. Okay. Let me see. Let's gather the facts here. You have some kind of record of military service. You have an undiagnosed or, uh, you know, unattributed head injury that we can't exactly pin down. Tattoos all make sense. That fits. Love of uh, silky smooth underwear, so perhaps a taste for some of the finer things in life. Um, does I'm... like a good steak with some rosemary butter. Ah, uh, okay. All right, I got you. Let me, let me do some thinking here for a second. Sounds to me like um, after retiring from the military, uh, you became a mercenary, started making some good money, got yourself silk underpants and steaks all the time. Maybe took a deal from the wrong people. Maybe someone takes a shot at you, tries to get you out of the equation on some kind of, uh, you know, dangerous plan of theirs. You wake up in the hospital, which would lead me to believe that if you step out of here, someone could be waiting. Enter this gentleman who just happens to come in to check on your well-being to see how no. you're doing. Do you know this guy? I have no <laughs> idea who this guy is. I work here, dude. <laughs> so you would be the perfect assassin, then, is what you're saying. As you would be here, you have a perfect excuse for being here. I like this guy. He's funny. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. I'm going to guess I am he's a, a reporter. <laughs> yes, he is, but I am, a, I am a trainee here. I work here, and I just... So that this is very interesting conversation, so I decided oh. to 